Your luck. And Taoiseach, for those who can't get a vaccine, we don't offer antigen testing, and this lends an unfairness. So the simple application of an antigen test would solve this. Is this being considered at all? Just on the antigen testing that are being considered for close contacts, how will this work? Will people have to apply? Who do they apply to? For um, Why can't we actually just give antigen, antigen tests freely um, to maybe test centres so that people that need them can require them? Another area of confusion is the booster programme, and Taoiseach, I really want to welcome this, but I've had a lot of uh, queries about this. Some GPs locally tell me that they can't administer it, and yet there doesn't seem to be any guidelines on what they do or where they go to access it. And my last one is ventilation. What are schools meant to do when they've exhausted all recommendations and still the CO2 monitors supplied to the schools by the department are recording inadequate levels? I've had some schools in Carlo Taoiseach contact me on this and it is worrying because we have the figures that have risen so much again. So I would ask you, ventilation seems to be one of the biggest issues going forward. I would ask that you would address this and come back to me because we do need to support the people, businesses and individuals that are trying to recover. I mean, we've asked a lot of the Irish people, so we need to help them to protect themselves. Thank you, Taoiseach. Thank you, um, Deputy Monan O'Connor. Um, <clears throat> first of all, for, for those who can't get a vaccine, you know, testing is available. PCR is available, but so is antigen testing. Um, the, the, in, in terms of the booster vaccination, that has already been made available for those over 80, and GPs are administering that, to my knowledge. We haven't come across any issues with that. Our immunosuppressed and, and residents in nursing homes know it's going to be extended to over 60s, and I think the HSC now will operationalise that. And I think it seems that the GPs will be certainly involved in the over 70s dimension to that. Um, but uh, the, the vaccination centres then could be used for, the, for over 60s. But that all, I say that preliminary, that all remains to be operationalised by the HSC, and they'll make decisions and they'll announce those. Um, um,